Hello everyone, welcome back to another important video. In this video, we are going to talk about plant nutrition. And if you have been watching my previous videos, you would have seen me touching on some aspects of plant nutrition. However, I know that many of you out there do not understand what plant nutrition is. Therefore, I went ahead and I prepared a basic presentation of what plant nutrition is. So, after watching this video, you should be able to have a basic understanding of what plant nutrition is and you should be able to follow along whenever we talk about plant nutrition in these videos. So without no further ado, let us get into the presentation. First of all, what is plant nutrition? Plant nutrition is the plant's mechanism for assimilating food to support growth and development. And in a nutshell, this is saying, this is how the plant gathers sugars to support leaf growth, fruit development, flower development, root development, just to support itself to grow to maturity, reproduce and give you that beautiful fruit or whatever you get from that plant. Where does plant get their nutrients from? Plant get their nutrients from minerals and non-minerals. When we say minerals, we mean they get these nutrients from the soil. And when we say non-mineral, we mean that they get these non-mineral nutrients from hair and water. What are minerals? Minerals are basically solid inorganic substances. And as it relates to plant nutrition, these minerals would be nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, chlorine, iron, manganese, zinc, copper, boron, molybdenum, and nickel. As it relates to non-minerals, these non-minerals would be oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. So put all of these minerals and non-minerals together, these are what supplies the plant with the nutrients it needs for growth and development. Therefore, that beautiful plant that you have outside, whether it's a vegetable plant, whether it's a, a, a fruit tree, or whether it's just an, a normal ornamental plant for your landscaping, these are the nutrients that it uses, both minerals and non-minerals, to give you that beautiful look on your landscape, to give you that nice, pretty flowers, to give you that beautiful, large fruit, and to give you those tasty vegetables. Now, these minerals and non-minerals, they can be classified into three main groups. They are meganutrients, macronutrients, and micronutrients. Now, even though I tell you that there are three main categories, under the category of macronutrients, there are primary macronutrients and there are secondary macronutrients. However, Meganutrients, macronutrients, and micronutrients, those are the three major heading or the three major groups that all these nutrients fall under. Now let us start out with meganutrients. Meganutrients would be what we consider the non-minerals. So that would be the carbon, the hydrogen, and the oxygen. And these are called meganutrients because the plant uses carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen in very large quantities. Moving on to macronutrients and remember we said that on the macronutrients we have primary macronutrients and we have secondary macronutrients. Primary macronutrients would be the ones that you, are, you have been hearing on my channel NPK nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and remember in previous videos I told you that these are the three main nutrients that you will see on fertilizer bags because as it relates to the minerals these three minerals are the minerals that plant uses in the largest quantities N, P and K and those are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Our secondary macronutrients comprise calcium, magnesium and sulfur. Now moving on to micronutrients as the word suggests, micronutrients. Micro means small. That means the plant uses the nutrients in very small quantities. 
and the nutrients or the minerals that are found on the micronutrients are boron, chlorine, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, zinc and nickel. So as you can see these are the three major groups that the minerals and non-minerals fall under. However when it comes on to macronutrients they are primary macronutrients and secondary macronutrients. You just need to remember that. Moving on how does plant uptake nutrients? Plant uptake nutrients primarily through their roots. However, they can also take in nutrients through their leaves, through structures that we call stomatas. How are nutrients added to the soil? Well, this is a very important question. And nutrients can be added to the soil by using organic fertilizers or inorganic fertilizers. And if you are a farmer or a backyard gardener or someone who loves plants, you would have been using one of these methods to supply nutrients to your plants. What are some examples of organic and inorganic fertilizers? As it relates to organic fertilizers, what we are talking about is animal manure and plant parts. As it relates to animal manure, we are talking about the common chicken manure, goat manure that you can put around your plants. As it relates to plant parts, we are talking about your common composting. You know you will take plant leaves and you can put around your plants and can break down and add nutrients to your soil. You can also use plant leaves and other plant parts as well as your kitchen peelings, your banana peels, your orange peels. Put that in a compost, let it break down and then you add that to your soil. So those are what we call organic fertilizers. As it relates to inorganic fertilizers, we are talking about your your common mineral or synthetic fertilizers and these are what you will commonly see at the farm store you see them in the big bags and so on what happens when the soil lacks sufficient nutrients and put this another way what happens when you are not feeding your plants properly what happens when you are not taking care of your soil what happens when you are not building your soil to provide the necessary nutrients for plant growth and development. This can cause from you just neglecting your plant, ne neglecting your soil. It can cause from you having a lot of work to do and you know it can cause from just busyness and you just prioritizing and not having your garden as priority. In this case what will happen is that your plants will show symptoms of nutrient deficiency. And what is nutrient deficiency? Nutrient deficiency is what is caused from a lack of sufficient nutrients to the plants. So one of the most common symptoms of nutrient deficiency is yellowing of the leaves. I am not saying that yellowing of leaves is only caused by nutrient deficiency, but the yellowing of leaves is a common symptom of nutrient deficiency out there. What else can happen? Growth and development will be impeded. So what this is saying is if the soil that you are growing in or whatever growing medium you have your plants in, if it doesn't have the required amount of nutrients that the plant needs to support growth and development, it will basically affect how the plant grows, how the plant carries out its biological or biochemical processes and this in turn will cause a negative impact on the amount you get from that plant. So in a nutshell when you have your plants you want to make sure that they are getting enough nutrients and not only one of the essential nutrients you want them to be getting enough of all the nutrients so that you can get a vigorous plant and one that will give you the best yield possible. With that being said, we have come to the end of this short presentation. As I said before, this presentation was made to give you a basic understanding of what plant nutrition is all about. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments here and we'll discuss them there. As usual, please remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video. Hello, now that you are at the end, if this video was beneficial to you, please consider subscribing.
to subscribe to my channel, please click the red subscribe button and then click the bell icon beside it so that you will be notified whenever I publish a new video. Thank you.